Hey guys, it's Amy dan selamat datang ke Studio Sembang Slice. It's kind of like a spin-off of ours di mana kita akan buat Studio Sembang tapi a shorter, cuter version with some very, very interesting, maybe international guests. Hari ni Amy berada dekat Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom James Wan in Malaysia tour. So mungkin itu adalah hint siapakah guest kita untuk episode ni. Tapi sebelum tu kita nak tunjukkan korang what's happening at this event today. So let's go and check it out. Guys, it's so cool. Tapi yang Iris macam dari sakat ni kan. Yang penting is dia buat kelainan dengan this blue carpet ni which I think is like so on point. It's the, blue carpet, it's the yeah. blue carpet for Aquaman, so, guys. Spoil Amelia skin. Who are we speaking to today? I wonder in the James Wan Malaysian tour. Uh, siapa eh yang kita boleh like, Wow, Alex. <laughs> kita tak bagi hint langsung eh. Kau orang kena teka code in the comment. Who are we going to be interviewing today? Sebab jawapan dia tak cukup obvious kot. In the James Wan Malaysia tu. Okay, so sekarang kita nak register. Sebab it's pretty top secret this whole thing. Sebab kita tak nak bagi apa-apa spoilers to anybody throughout this process. So at some point kita orang akan kena cakap bye to the BTS camp. We've taken you as far as we possibly can. Um, but we have to register and then we're going to go in. Alex, you're going to betul for me. So, kita do a private screening, is it? Of what's happening today? It is a very special, macam 15 minit, early free teaser macam tu. Oh, oh my gosh. So, maksudnya kita di antara yang pertama untuk tengok Betul. some of the cool... Yep. Untuk Aquaman number Guys, I'm excited. We're going to go to the Lost Kingdom today. Okay guys, so today's episode of Studio Sembang Slice, we're with none other than James Wan on your tour. You're here in Malaysia, back. How does it feel to be back? Uh, it's pretty incredible uh, just to be back here finally with a movie and uh, and and getting to experience, you know, the, the, the culture that I grew up with, but getting to sort of reacquaint myself with it. I can so, imagine. It's been really nice. Okay, from another fellow Malaysian, I think it's so awesome to have you here. But before we get into the interview questions, we have kind of a fun activity to do, okay? okay? If you're up for it. So yes. we don't have any superheroes with us today, unfortunately. But we were thinking maybe we could come up with one and see what magic we can do. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Okay, how do you feel about that? Okay, if you had to create a superhero from scratch. From scratch, from okay. Scratch, yep. What would the superhero's name be? Um, I'm thinking maybe the Night Butterfly. The Night Butterfly. butterfly yes. Okay, and what, what superpower does the Night Butterfly have? <laughs> He camouflages into the night. Oof. He looks like a giant moth um, with maybe red eyes because it's wow. you know, kind of scary. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that could be really cool. It camouflages into the night. It's giving blue suit. Uh, blue or gray or, or, or black. Okay, and yes. if we imagine him in a scene, what is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? And it can be wacky. Is he making coffee in the morning? <laughs> like, what, what's, he, what's he up to? Maybe he's cleaning his suit. <laughs> um, he's got many wings and he's got many legs and uh, and those are all mechanical legs that he's uh, that he's making and so um, so he has to clean them and constantly oil them so that they actually function properly when he goes out and fight crime. This is an incredibly well thought out answer. Yes. Okay, so we're yes. going to hold the on to this idea. The reason why I have it well thought out is because it's a comic book that I've thought about for in a, for a long time. Wow. <laughs> that I've never made. Okay, no. so we're going to try to see to, to see if we can do some magic behind the scenes. Okay. And we'll revert to this idea by the end of this interview. But in the meantime, huh. okay. okay, bear with us, bear right, with us. Okay. We've got something cooking in the background. But in the meantime, I have so many questions for you about Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. How do you feel about it? You must be super excited. This is the second installation of the biggest grossing movie in the DC I am. I, I am excited about it. I uh, describe the Lost Kingdom really um, as the second chapters of the first movie. And I've said that you can watch these two films back to back and they play as one big movie. And, uh, and I think, you know, that was kind of the approach somewhat from, from the start. 
And, uh, and you know, we sort of started the movie with um, Aquaman's journey. He's trying to find himself in, in, in this world. And then he becomes the king of Atlantis. And now in the second movie, we get to see him be that king. And, but he's also a husband and a dad. And so you also see he, the responsibility that he has um, at home, like changing diapers <laughs> and feeding the baby. Meanwhile, juxtapose that with uh, him trying to run a kingdom. He's got like a lot of things on his plate. He has huh? a lot of stuff going on. Oh yeah, and trying to save the world. <laughs> <laughs> and if he has space for anything else after that, I'm not sure he's going to make it happen. Um, so I was watching a couple of interviews and I think the producers, Peter and Rob, they actually said that in this movie, maybe even more so than the last one, you got to bring in your incredibly broad expertise in the world of horror and try to apply that in tiny ways. Like what can we expect, I guess, in terms of that? Um, I definitely, you, the, the, the actual Lost Kingdom itself is a bit of a scary kingdom. And so what that meant is it meant that I allow me to aesthetically design, you know, potentially a, a, a a scarier kingdom, but uh, <laughs> but but like the first movie, uh, I always said, you know, um, and part of the reason why I wanted to play in this world is that the idea that the ocean is, you know, it's two things for me: it's scary and it's wondrous as well. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, I'm. I'm creating the wondrous aspect of it, but I definitely want to lean a little bit into the horror stuff of it as well. Ooh, okay. I can't wait to see it. Like from the snippet <laughs> that we watched, it looks so gripping and exciting. I think my follow-up question to that, seeing as it's the Lost Kingdom, it's like a new universe that we're exploring. Not so new, familiar to the people uh -huh. who've seen the first one. Um, I guess my next question is, you've thrown in a couple of like nods to some retro aspects right because we're moving into the lost kingdom and stuff like that yes. so i know that um you've got the blue suit obviously what else can we look for that's kind of like calling back to its comedy like comic comic roots? Um, yeah yeah i would say you know like a um you know more of the sea creatures topo um which is the octopus uh that was briefly seen in the first film playing the drums at the coliseum the underwater coliseum uh, during the fight gladiator fight sequence now has a bigger role in this He's uh, he's definitely a character that's from the old school comic book from the 60s comic book um, He's a very he's a fan favorite character um, He's a bit of a mascot I guess but uh, but in this one You know we found a fun way to incorporate him into the story in a uh, you know more kind of more important way and uh, and then I would say you know like the, the design of the ship um, the design of the characters you know, I'm I'm kind of harking back to my love for Jules Verne as well. Nice. And so, uh, so you know, a lot of inspiration, but most of it is from the retro world. Yes. Okay. Well, we can't wait to watch the full <laughs> movie when it comes out next week. Thank you so much for spending time with us. We actually have a gift for you, which okay. is we may or may not have been able to come up with a visual representation of your mock <laughs> character, and we're gonna pass it to you. I know it's the end of our interview already, but we'll pass it to you after this. Thank you so much for spending time with us. I look forward to it. Okay. We'll send it to you in a minute. Thank, Thank you, so, you much. so much. Thank you. Thank you. Alright guys, so inilah dia Night Butterfly yang direka dan dicipta oleh James Wan. So sekarang dia masih tengah interview, so kita akan hantar gambar ni dekat dia through his representative and kalau korang nampak one day lah, comic from James Wan yang nampak macam ni, you know where the idea came from. Alright, let's go give it to him.